Hey, I'm telling you right now, you better go hard, you better give me a hesitation. Because I know you can do it, you better than that. Let's go. Move. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see, because I know you can do it. You're a good basketball player, and you're going to do it every time. Let's go. It's not over yet. Who won? Let's go. Push. Push. Let's go. Work. So for a player, what's the hardest part of training with M14? I think the accountability. Um, we always walk players up the ladder um, with always keeping in mind that they're children. Okay. They're 17 and under. Um, so there's a lot of learning and teaching that we have to do with them. And I'm big on why, you know, how, so why do you use a move, how do you use a move, but why are we yelling at you or why are we not? <laughs> you know, that, that's also part of this as well. So new players come in, we're not going to nail them to the wall and just get on them like crazy. We're going to build them up and we got to gain their trust. Uh, but the hardest thing is that accountability because we always say, you told us you want to be good. You told me you want to play varsity. You told me you want to make the team. You told me you want to get to college. I'm just telling you how. Do good players do this? And then they start to understand like, okay, well coach isn't just yelling at me. He didn't get up today and just decide he wants to get on me. I messed up and he should hold me accountable. You know, so that that's kind of the, the method to the madness. Come on, three, let's go, two, hold the ball, hold the ball. Some of us are starting to get recruited and all our workouts are top down, right? When you're done with a workout at the next level, the shoes are going to run in and the shoes are going to be clapping it up. That's just how things go at the next level. So that's how it's got to be here, right? That's the way to work. I got no problem. No. All work on three. One, two, three. We're strict. We're stern. We're going to get on players absolutely 100%, but we do it out of a positive angle. So we're always gonna say, do you think this is what a good player does? Or I know you're better. You need to do this this way because you can't. I'm not gonna let you be bad. I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna force you to stay and stand on your word. You said you wanna be good, perfect. I'm gonna believe you, I'm gonna trust you, trust me. And now let's get this thing done. So I think the accountability that we hold players to, the, the standard is, is the toughest thing about the program. Good. That arm was the best one. That last one you really got out here. That's great. You gotta drop the body height. Here. Get low from me. Get low. Get low. There you go. Go. Pound the basketball. Pound the ball. Pound the ball. This is the last one. Come on. Good. Boom. Boom. Good. Come here. Good job today. That's it. All right? We'll go again tomorrow. You got to be ready to go. I thought you did great. I thought you did great. I thought you did awesome, okay? You got to understand, you're going to make mistakes. You're probably going to make more mistakes than things you do correct. But it doesn't matter. You got to get better. I thought you got better from beginning to end. What do you think? You really think? That, that's the goal. Every time you step in the gym, it's to leave a better basketball player than you were when you came in. I think we accomplished that today. Yeah. All right? Good job. Step to the ball for close to your body. Push the ball out, push the ball, catch up, one, two, and then step. All right? Push the ball in front of you. You got to push it out hard. Bigger
for someone that's new to M14, what is it that you say that you guys teach? Basketball, um, A to Z. We're gonna teach them, you know, on the court with the ball, we're teaching them ball handling, creating space, you know, big time footwork drills, um, how to get their own shots, how to attack the rim hard, um, how to draw fouls, passing, how to make the correct pass, the right pass to make. Defensively, we'll teach them how to really guard on the ball, but then off the ball defense as well, uh, how to guard screens. Okay, you guys that are on the wing, we need to start driving a little bit more, attacking the rim. Okay, and if you guys have a first level vision, that's great. If I got a wing that can attack the rim and make it drop it down, I need that. Okay, so work on your game right now. All right, we're getting better, but I implore you, please compete harder. All right, talk more on defense. Work on your game now. All right, I need a lot of leadership right now. I tell players all the time to master our program is to know how to use that in a game and how to plug it into player movement and ball movement. That's really it. So the, the main thing that we teach them is how to be efficient with the ball. If you need to get your shot, it needs to be done in one, two, three dribbles max. Otherwise, pass the ball. Um, but you've got to be able to plug what we teach into a real live setting, into a real five on five, and no coach wants to see you just dribble the ball a hundred thousand different times. So. Yes, you got to get your own shot. Yes, you have to be offensive minded, but you got to make the right decisions. So we evolve our teaching into IQ, into teaching instincts, so they know how to play without the ball, just as well as they know how to play with the ball. Now, off the court, we're also big on their demeanor, you know, teaching them confidence, teaching them, you know, instilling those basic principles because these are kids still. They're not adults, they're not college players. So a lot of what we're teaching is a lot about themselves. You got these grandiose dreams that you want to accomplish. Well, now we're going to show you how to do it. You know, we're going to show you what work it takes to get your dream accomplished. And that comes with grades. That comes with, you know, the right body language. That comes with listening. That comes with all those other things, those intangibles about basketball. We teach those as well. Effort is, is, is not an issue, right? We're far beyond those days, which is a very good thing, okay? You gotta go home and do them off days, right? We're testing next week, but like I said, we're going to start competing more and more and more and more. To master the program is to understand how to plug in all this footwork, one-on-one -on -one moves, jab step, shot fix, into real life basketball. Right? That means you're setting the proper angle on screens. That means you're using the screen right. That means you read the screen right. That means you curled, they rolled back. That means you caught it, they're on you. Shot, picked your jab, then you went. You went over the top and shot the. That's how you master it. But you can really plug this into real 505 basketball. All right? So we're going to continue to work. I ain't got no complaints on it. Okay? Keep on working hard like that. That was very good. Good work. Good work. Stay here. Stay here. Hard work. One, two, three. Hard work. work. Good work, good work, good work. Good job, good job. Very analytical, 
sometimes I overanalyze, but just like I said, just making sure, you know, did, did each kid get what they, they want? You know, what's that feeling? Like yesterday we left the gym and, you know, it feels like the same way it used to feel when, you know, after we won a game or something on whatever team I was playing on, like, it feels that good when all of a sudden they get it. Like, whenever you got it across, they got it and they were able to execute it at a high level. Like, that's the, that's the best thing in the world. So in one word, what is M14 Hoops about? Results. So you think the M14 experience definitely equips you for your collegiate level? Yeah, involved? I mean, not even collegiate level, it's just in life. I think he's taught me certain aspects that you can use for your life, daily, daily life.